go from here, Mark? We are back in the poker den. And here is the match situation. Dave Colclough, a minute ago, he was looking as though he was about to walk the plank. Now he is captain of the ship, 13,600 pounds. All right. Right. And it's a king, queen of clubs. Ian Woodley also not messing around. More than three thousand pounds seems to be heading across the yellow line. Thirty-three. Thirty-three hundred pounds. There it is. Is that thirty-three? Thirty-three. King Queen of Club suited connectors. Nice hand. Yeah. Cold Clough. He folded the King Jack. Pass. That's experience. And pass. Nice fly. Pry getting rid of the garbage. Easy. A nine four off suit. And a nice big grin. For Ian Woodley. A lot of respect around this table. I've not seen too many flops. No. Nope. Ian's took the cash lead. Easy money. Easy money. Told me he once won no, thirty-four thousand really pounds at the big casino in a cash game. Button. Passed round to Jim Britton. That means nah. a small blind for Ian Woodley, who can do no wrong in the last 10 minutes. Big blind for the Estonian, and the action will be on El Blondie, Dave Colclough. He's under the gun. I would be surprised if uh, Alex was carrying a gun. <laughs> I tell you, when I see this poker being played like this, patience, it's so tiring, a long night. You've got to be prepared to really be disciplined. Yeah, they say stamina is <coughs> important. Pass. With the World Pass. Series attracting cool. so many players, it was uh, cool. widely said that only a man under 40 could win it, or woman, simply because to do seven days of mental effort would be too exhausting. Pass. Well, not too taxing Pass. a decision for Ian Woodley. Queen five is frankly rubbish. That ain't rubbish. Yeah. Well, no, Jim Britton is flat called, Colin. and I was going to say, I think Alex is going to come call. back at this pot. Britton showing that he's wanting to throw oh, away an shoot. ace, and Alex showing him what a lucky escape he had by lobbing in the ace ten for everybody to see. I said fitness was important. Dave Colclough, since he got married, he's had a gym put in the house, he tells me, and his wife doesn't let him eat curry anymore. He has to eat sushi. So she's training him up like an athlete. I'm sure that's the sort of diet you had when you were an international footballer, Tony. And I've always been on a ba balanced diet all my career. Cheeseburger <coughs> in each hand. <laughs> They've both gone all linear. Oh, my good. I, th I, I thought Jim had thrown it. He's hitting a nine. nine. Oh, my good Lord. I'm already s saying that Jim had thrown it away. No, he stayed in. And, my God, is he happy he'd stayed in. Alex in all sorts of trouble now, looking for a ten. Needs a ten. Oh, oh and he's hit it! <laughs> oh, does that? That is astonishing. <laughs> we can't even get him to smile, the Russian, when he hits the best card in the pack for him. So it has to be a nine, and it oh. isn't. Good hand, Matt. Alex wins. How much more is it? Six, uh, seven, the way seven. he turned the cards over, I assumed he had folded, but there it is. Ace nine for Jim Britton. The flop couldn't have been kinder. He pulled, he pulled the nine, but on the turn, the ace ten in front of Alexander. Well, as a ten on the turn, that gave him a better pair. And he won with tens and fours with an ace kicker. And Jim, well, he's standing up. He's not out of it yet. He still has a thousand two hundred pounds, but he's certainly edging towards that doorway. Tony, I couldn't believe he called. No, it's a surprising call because, you know, if you're making the all-in bet, it's, it's different. But to call someone when you flat called and then they re-raise you all in and it takes nearly all your cash, it's a hard call. With ace nine, you want a minimum ace jack, ace queen, or a decent pair. Yeah, I assumed it was so automatic that he must have just turned his cards over to say, look what I'm throwing away. He was turning them over to say, OK. So there it is, Alexander back on top.
I very, told, I told very expensive for Jim. Yeah, yeah, no worries. Yeah. Somebody has been left behind. I compared this to a long distance race, and I'm afraid the pack have pulled away from Jim Britton. He's now gasping for air, and he's a few yards Who's behind that? everyone else. Place 2000. Lawrence Fry, the tightest man in poker, yes. has decided that a Jack King is worth punting with. Oh. Well, I think anybody here with I do like a any mediocre hand is going to put it down against Lawrence. Yeah, and there it is. Maximum respect for the man from Mississippi. Hand seven, one Two seven. Three, Not seen the cards yeah. again. <laughs> the blinds are up. The blinds are now 700. Invincible when you go Mad Marty announcing that the blinds have just gone up. 700, 1500. Well, that's just two cards for Jim Britton now. Yeah, he's only got, he's not even got the big blind in front of him in cash. Yeah, he is now on a wing and a prayer, isn't he? <coughs> the Celtic Tiger. He tussled with the Russian. It didn't work out for him. I think you'll find Jim if he picks anything suited. Or like that, Ace-8 is going in. Yeah, Ace-8 it has to go in. Woodley, wide fours. This is a strange scenario for him because if he flat calls it, which you don't really necessarily want to do, he needs to make a raise with the fours because he doesn't want to flat call and get other callers behind him. Mm. Up half. And he's pass. A, that's a fair option. You yeah. could do that, pass the hand. Yeah, in that early position with some powerful, aggressive players behind him. Fours look pretty before the flop, but unless you hit, you've got to get. Well, X is thinking. Is my eight, ace eight of diamonds? Is it any good? Six thousand. Mm. Six thousand total. Well, he wants to play heads up. Yeah, good enough for six thousand. He wants to scare people off. I'm pretty sure he will scare off Cole Clough. He's only got a three-two, and indeed they've gone in the mark. Lawrence Fry, six thousand with only a Jack King. I can't believe Lawrence would call this. He's he's not. He's made the moves when he's made the bet in. Yeah. Not to call. Oh, he's uh -huh. called it. I don't believe that. He doesn't have an ace. No, he's not been very lucky so far, hasn't he? Well, you haven't had it. He's a monster <laughs> for Lawrence Fry. Two pairs. He is so far in front. It is unbelievable. And this, I'm afraid, looks gloomy. For Jim Britton, Again. He's smiling. I mean, I was going to say there, Alex. Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, the him checking, he doesn't need to. There's so much in the middle in cash. You don't need to check. Just bet your last two thousand nine hundred. Well, 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 he might get paid now yeah. because all Alex in. is going to go all in. Surely, he's not going to let Lawrence scare him off. I'm just, I'm just, this, the bet before of why he didn't go all in with a 2,900, there was no Nine. need to give a free card, really wasn't, because he could actually lose his hand with a number Nine. of cards yeah. now. Well. Exactly. Well, he's going to get paid anyway. Alex is calling. The cards are going to go on their backs. And Lawrence Fry. Two pair for Lawrence. Well, he can hit an ace, he can hit a three. Pair of aces. Yeah. Making it an eight. Jim, three. A pair of aces. Oh, oh, God. God. oh that's it. It's good night, Well, Britain's not out of it yet. An ace, a three, an eight. This is a river two men could drown in. Let's see what it brings. It's a full house for Lawrence. <laughs> well played, man. We lose Jim Britain. <laughs> I'll play well, I'll play I said he had the oh, preacher on the side. The he's got God on his side. He's got rid of a very dangerous player, the oh, Celtic okay, Tiger. He played well, but he tussled with the Russian, and then he tussled with the American. And when you take on 